Today we're gonna set the tone for the upcoming week. All right, this is super important. We're gonna talk about the importance of having a daily routine. Now, for a golfer, an amateur golfer trying to improve, why would you wanna have a daily routine? Well, Tiger Woods has a daily routine. All the professional golfers have daily routines. Professional athletes have daily routines. I used to live in Washington, D.C., and a good friend of mine told me one time he read an article that Kirk Cousins, he was the then quarterback of the Washington Redskins, now plays for Minnesota, um, he had his whole day mapped out every 15 minutes what he was doing. Now, that might be way too extreme for, for you guys. That might be a lot to organize and process. I mean, if it takes you three hours just to organize your day, well, that might be counterproductive. You kind of want to be a little reasonable with that. But so what I would suggest would be just to start off adding one thing to your daily routine this week. Next week, add another thing. The week after that, add another thing. If that's too fast, slow it way down. We'll add one thing a month. Over the course of the year, that's 12 things that you will incorporate, um, kind of like how we were going back to the time it takes to implement consistent goals, right? So a task, a thing that you're gonna do for your daily routine, um, that's just one idea that can, needs to remain consistent. It needs to be a realistic goal, going back to what we were talking about last week. All right, guys, so what does my daily routine look like? <clears throat> well, let's just talk about nutrition, okay? I start off every day with a smoothie because it's something I can manage. I know I'm not going to cook an elaborate breakfast for myself every morning. That's really, it, it doesn't fit in with my personality, my lifestyle. Um, would it be good maybe to have hash browns and eggs every morning? Um, maybe, maybe not, depending on who you are. Um, and you know, how you metabolize food and what kind of your activity output and all kinds of things. But for me, it's a smoothie. I can put my supplements in there. I can get a lot of great nutrition and it's very easy. I make it in my blender, I drink it. And basically the, the nutrients and what little carbohydrates are in that smoothie, um, that sustains me all the way to lunchtime. And I know that I've already got so many of my nutrients throughout the day that I'm good to go. Um, and then the other staple of my daily routine is um, my Qigong practices, my energy practices that I do every morning to get my mind and body <clears throat> right so I can focus my day. I, you know, it's, you don't just wake up every day feeling great, unfortunately, you know? And, and I try to take good care of myself, but the truth is I don't wake up feeling 100% every day either. But there are strategies and things I do, like my smoothie, like my Qigong, that really kind of help me get over that hump if I might not be feeling too great. And then all of a sudden, you know, I might actually be feeling pretty good. Um, so really mitigate some of those off days. Uh, and that's really the point of having a daily routine. It's about consistency. That's that big word that everybody wants in these golf lessons. Consistency. Well, having a daily routine, that's the big thing here. It's going to promote consistency. And that's what you guys are looking for. So implement consistency into your daily lives. If you need to write it into a calendar and get a little pop-up reminder um, on your phone, like do that. If I like a dry erase board sometimes, it's just right there in my face, you know, a little analog like that. Um, really doesn't matter. What matters is that you find something that works for you. And there has to be something that works for you because there's so many options out there. Just dig a little, don't be afraid to try different things. There's a lot of options out there. Find something that works and stick with it over a long period of time. Implement changes slowly. Let the changes absorb before you move on to something else. Okay? So let me know what you start with. Nutrition, maybe it's exercise. Maybe it's, you know, it could be a, a mantra. It could be a prayer. It could be... Um, you know, a program that you like to watch that maybe lifts your spirits. Um, make sure it's positive, make sure it feels good, and make sure you can stick with it. All right, guys, uh, leave some comments, send me some messages if you want to know what's in my smoothie or what this Qigong stuff I'm talking about is or anything else that I do. I mean, I left out a lot. And also notice it was all geared around the morning, okay? So we're gonna talk more about 
how to really take take charge of your mornings and how that can really set the tone for your day. All right, guys, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.